Okay, so um, then the other part is Murex isn't limited to specific financial instruments. So it boasts a cross asset capability, allowing you to manage a wide range of products from equities to derivatives to commodities and FX. Uh, here on this one, we they do say that they they have a, a very uh, good support in terms of the cross uh, across all the board all all financial uh, product and and they do uh, market themselves as, as industry leader in supporting all these products but i mm -hmm. would from a practical experience i would like to call out that equities is something which still i think there are many i have seen many clients who don't opt out for equity module from emirates so they don't sub, uh, request them or they don't buy their equity uh, booking model there have been challenges and um, uh, that's the reason murex uh, uh, is uh, continuously working on on supporting their equity module but in terms of uh, uh, supporting uh, your derivatives uh, be mm. it your plain vanilla derivatives or, or, or it could be a complex uh, derivative options fixed incomes uh, products they they are pretty much uh, on top of that um, so got it so so they have a weakness which is fine because i'm not taking the equities module right now anyway but um, yeah so, yeah, so that, that's their, their weak area i would say okay yeah got it. okay um good thank you that's useful Okay, so then oh, so, uh, then we say the Murex is known for its robust technical foundation. It's primarily built on Java. So when we say Java, so now what they are coming up, uh, I think to answer to your question, with, as part of this AWS integration, uh, what they are doing is they have built a new, uh, I would say, uh, they, uh, so earlier there, there was some, uh, when I'll go deep down into the session, I'll, I'll explain you. So earlier there was, uh, there used to be workflows that they used to create and those were, as I said, that XML based workflows uh, mm -hmm. and, and they have their flow sheets um, created, which is typically kind of if, if you know that BPM kind of thing where you would have a swim lanes created and then uh, you will create some task onto it. And at, at ta once one task is completed, it will flow to next and uh, based on the outcome mm -hmm. of the that specific task, the other other uh, other step can be uh, can be uh, achieved or can be taken care but now they have as part of this aws uh, uh, changes they are implementing connecting next kind of a framework uh, which is purely java based so this was one again there was one one of the issue that since they they had uh, created their own uh, uh, development world and then they were uh, so people were not able to find enough resources in the market and, and whatever resources uh, people used to find or they were really costly resources so due yeah. to that and sometimes it was unavailable also at some specific location you won't find a, tip, a, a particular resource only so then then it, it defeats the purpose so then uh, there was a, a market demand that at least it should have some capabilities which are kind of uh, which can be learned and and a core developer a java developer can be done so uh, can be can do that so now what they have done is they have come up with a new um, uh, uh, a framework in itself which you when you will have discussions with those uh, mm -hmm. with the murex teams you will see that they will they will pitch a lot of connectivity next c, uh, c2 interface that what they call is uh, so c2 interface is nothing but it is something which where they are trying to make their libraries and then available as part of the java library and then a, a norm a, a person who has worked in java they can oh. easily transition as a as a back office developer or a workflow developer right and the c2 interface is essentially a collection of java libraries is that what it is yes yes okay. yes and then and, and and it it is something which uh, where i said that there used to be a sequential workflow that needs to be followed though now there could be scenarios a practical scenario of it is uh, initially uh, if if in a flow sheet uh, i would say traditionally uh, in on old uh, versions of murex it, it could be a scenario where a trade once booked from a front office desk it 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 has to uh, follow it it has to follow uh, a specific set of uh, steps and then mm. they they and given a dynamic world there was a need that uh, in today's era, we, we need that once a front office uh, uh, trader books a trade, we, we, we want to have uh, XVA calculated for it. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, as part of the initial risk, yeah. Yeah. yeah, initial risk management. Plus, so then we have some built-in controls uh, in terms of static and all those uh, yeah. user accesses. So, we, where a middle office uh, also has to validate whether this this security is valid or, or the trade is uh, captured with the valid uh, parameters. So then it was something where uh, we have to split in between that uh, how uh, the par a trade should parallelly uh, reach both these. Uh, uh, I would say uh, both these queues or both these departments. So then, in in these kind of scenarios, it was uh, pretty uh, difficult uh, as part of the existing module, like how how to design those kind of flow sheets, and and it was very heavy in terms of performance. So as part mm. of this connectivity next C2 interface, what they have done is they have may, uh, tried to make it a bit simpler in terms of there could be some sequential steps along with that there could be uh, there is a uh, facility to do parallel uh, uh, moving the trade in parallel direction also so that at, at that same point of time it can go to diff uh, two different kind of uh, entities or, or or two different business areas so that they both of them can do a checks and then once they do it, it it gathers all the information from both those those tasks or both those areas and then move ahead after uh, 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 gathering all these information. So in terms of like if, if someone is uh, validating some a middle office is validating this security and they have to uh, uh, put some I would say a maturity date in on the fly items like uh, let's mm -hmm. take an example of a commercial deposit which is our commercial paper on the fly. So and then those are not issued. Those are something which bank is issuing. So uh, now the trader would do what create a security on the fly and then mm -hmm it will go to risk uh, credit risk team to quickly validate the counterparty credit risk. Parallelly, it will also go to the middle office queue uh, to validate the security and uh, quantity and the other, other static parameters on the, uh, on the same contract. So it, as part of the C2 interface, they have tried to make it more simpler and uh, easy to manage which I have not mentioned here, but it is something which uh, you would be uh, when you will have discussions with them. So you'll you'll uh, hear a lot yeah. of, about C2 interface from them. Um, Thank you. Then it says that um, uh, software as a service, we have already discussed it. Uh, we'll move to uh, next one. Okay. Cross asset uh, functionality support. Uh, I mentioned it earlier. Equities, it it's, uh, supports equities. It uh, uh, then equity derivative and structure products. So uh, cash equities and equities is something which uh, I mentioned that it's some some bit of a weak area. But when it comes to equity derivatives like bond equity and all, so it it has a capability to uh, 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 I would say to capture those trades and then uh, move that trade uh, correctly without any issues. Fixed income, um, I've seen um, Murex uh, supporting a wide range of fixed income uh, uh, ranging from plain vanilla bonds, it could be uh, government bonds, it could be uh, commercial bonds and uh, then uh, there are other other products also which which can uh, which are like in uh, interest rate derivatives and and uh, it could be fra it could be option uh, options uh, in terms of bond future options and all so all these kind of products uh, murex is a capability uh, to handle that um, then commodities also yeah. commodities something and, which uh, sorry just the talk, so when you say handle it you mean not just the trading of it but the actual uh, middle office workflow of um, it's all uh, end to end. I'm, I'm, I'm end talking end. about okay, it's it. all end to end. Yeah. yeah. So so uh, all these options and all future options, uh, your floor caps and all those uh, uh, barrier options and all all those kind of complex products also they uh, it has a capability to handle um, mm -hmm. along with your money market and FX. I'll come back to commodities later uh, along with FX and uh, uh, money market instruments. So when we say FX, it it, it has uh, dedicated templates to capture the trades for your spot cash FX, uh, then uh, your swaps, cr cross currency, vanilla swaps, all, all those uh, it, it, it can it can handle uh, pretty well. Then money markets instruments also, as I mentioned that uh, the simpler ones could be your loan depots, uh, which are uh, short-term loan depots, overnight borrowings, and uh, repos and uh, uh, reverse repos as part of fixed income. 
also uh, it is a good depends on like how how bank wants to structure it but it has a good support on terms of if you if you want to do some issuances of uh, trade uh, of uh, securities also like commercial papers or the certificate of deposits also so it, it it can do the short papers in terms of already existing short papers you can buy sell uh, fully workflow is fully supported for that uh, on the flies also when you want to issue any any uh, such commercial paper from the from your bank side so those all all things uh, it it uh, it can handle pretty well there are some products which depends on client to kind how how they use it when we say come back to credit so it, it uh, you can you can uh, book credit default swaps and all into murex it has a workflow but depends like it uh, i've seen i was a three or two or three out of five uh, clients doing it similar cases with commodities um commodities uh, wise you've seen clients you've seen clients doing it because uh, sorry not doing it because they don't trade that asset class or not doing it because the functionality didn't work for them 